Hi, my name is Mark Eddy, uh, Drenon Jr. And if you're new here, I do cyber related videos. Now, in the last video, we discussed the bad rabbit attack and we did it from, we've shown from uh, different vantage points. So this video is going to show you how to recover from or prevent a bad rabbit attack. All right, all right. So right now what we're doing is we're rebooting and booting into BIOS. Now, what we're doing here is we're changing the boot order to boot from Windows ISO to do a system restore. Windows ISO is booting up. And what we're eventually going to do is we're going to select system image to restore the data from. We're going to select an image, a system image to restore the data from. Now, the reason why we're doing this is we want to restore to a date, right? We want to restore to a date when Bad Rabbit was not executed or downloaded yet. So what's happening now is we're recovering the data from the system image. So what's happening now is we're recovering the data from the system image. And what you're seeing here is we're showing that the desktop is recovered, no encrypted files, and 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 uh, the bad rabbit exe file. What we're doing is we're creating creating files cscc.dat and info in info.dat with the command in the command prompt. So cscc.dat and i and info.dat in the command prompt. So we're locating both files in Explorer right now. We're, lo we're locating both of those files in Explorer. And again, this is the prevention method. The prevention method. So now that we have located both files, right? We're removing every write, W-R-I-T-E. <laughs> we're removing every write. And we're going to edit user permission from both files. We are editing the user permission on both the, the um, cscc.dat and ifpub.dat if in the command prompt that you saw earlier. And the reason why we're doing this, again, we want to make sure that we edit those the, the user permission in those files so bad rabbit cannot edit those files remember these are the two files that bad rabbit starts with we're going to execute bad rabbit again we're going to execute it because we're going to we're going to test to see if this was to happen what would happen because right now we're trying to uh prevent it so to prevent it we're then going to have to test it eventually so we're going to have to simulate an attack on ourselves to see if bad rabbit would be able to execute so now that we've got ahead of the game and we we we, we created the two files that uh bad rabbit likes to use and we've edited the user permission on those files now we're gonna test to see if bad rabbit was executed what would happen so we are checking the task and resource manager so the reason why we're checking the task and resource manager is we want to check for suspicious activity. And as you can see, there's none to be seen. It was not created. You see, remember the, the uh, so we executed bad rabbit and you don't see the readme text file. It didn't execute. So we tried to execute it. There is no readme text file. So there's nothing. So, so it has not been executed. So we've got in front of the game. We cannot be a uh, bad rabbit attack cannot be used on us. So that was the recovery and the prevention method for the bad rabbit attack. If we fell victim to it, please feel free to watch, like and comment other videos on this channel. Subscribe now.